Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about the Eosheen 1000 TVL CCD camera. Um, I believe it is one of the best budget cameras you could find on the market. Um, when I first started I had the uh, Eosheen Falcon and some days I just could not fly because of the sun. It was just so bad you can't see anything it was just absolutely black and I just had to keep the quad down looking on the floor just to be able to fly. And why won't this focus? Okay, there we go. So this camera is amazing. Good quality, a good sunlight, um, uh, what is it? Transition in sunlight, and you're constantly able to fly the quad. Now, as you can see, it doesn't fit all frames like the Martian. I don't know how you would kind of mount this, but some, you know, some quads, you know, some ready to fly quads might have that little camera adapter thingy, or maybe you could figure out a smart way to mount this. But if you are thinking of getting this, I really do recommend getting it. Um, I, I have them on a couple of my quads. I have them on the Ramis. I have them on, um, I forgot what else. Oh yeah, the Jeb RC, the 130X. And never had a problem. And uh, the, the transition, the sunlight transition is just amazing. It's, it's very good. Good quality. You don't really notice the quality because it just depends on your goggles really. But um <clears throat> It's just good all around, and one of my favorite things on this is the fact that you could choose between PAL and NTSC, which is good for certain OSDs because some of them might need reflashing, and it might be a pain to remove the uh, the the uh, <clears throat> the OSD to reflash it or to tell it to 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 run on PAL instead of NTSC and vice versa. So this is just awesome. All you gotta do is just, oh, that's it, done. You know, so this camera, I do recommend this is, I believe, one of the best cheap FPV cameras you could find on the market uh, <clears throat> uh, because I've tested it and I know how it works. And I've tested others, but the others were CMOS, so I really cannot compare CMOS to CCD. But uh, the CCD camera is very good and it very much uh, lives up to the CCD name, I guess you would say, uh, which is very good in uh, light transition and uh, it can handle. Uh, flying in the sun pretty pretty well actually so if you're thinking of getting this one get it and um, it's only twelve dollars and um, it's a uh, five volt also um, I think you can't take more than five volts so just be careful when you're running this uh, you could probably run power to it from your flight controller or something depending on your uh, build <clears throat> and uh, let, let me bring the Jeb RC just to show you how I've set it up on my Jeb RC 130X alright so here's my Jeb 130X, it's running Emaxes, uh, 1306, yeah, 1306, uh, maybe 4000 KV, I don't even remember. Uh, F3 flight controller, regular PDB, and the Eosheen 526, I think, VTX here. And it has the CCD camera, which is the same exact one as this. And without it, it is basically impossible to fly this in sunlight. I've tried others, it was just absolute crap. And this worked out for me the best. And I love it. This is one of my most reliable calls, actually. This is when, when everything just gets destroyed, I just fly this one. And um, <clears throat> this is uh, one of my first builds I've ever built in my life. And I'm very happy with it. I've, I've had no problems with it. It just runs beautifully. So the camera is a big factor in your, in your flight uh, 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 enjoyment, I would say. So uh, if your camera is functioning well, then you could fly it very good. So... I mean, if, if if it's not so good in, in sunlight, you're just going to have to end up flying like this, just looking at the ground so you know where you're going, and which is actually very bad and very annoying, and it's just, it just ruins the whole experience. <clears throat> so, if you're thinking of getting this camera, get it, it's good. Um, it does, I had to kind of squish it in here, so I really cannot bend it, so this is as high as it goes right now, but, I mean, I, at least I get to fly it, and it, it's very good. Um, <clears throat> it comes focused from the, uh, from the, uh, uh, from the manufacturer, so when you buy it, it's already focused, you don't have to play with the lens to get it to focus right. So, this is going to conclude it for my budget FPV camera, um, <clears throat> and uh, if you guys are thinking about this, get it, I've tried it, I love it, and um, any kind of quad that has this kind of uh, camera mounting system, I just stick one of these on there, because I trust it, and I know it's good. And I have yet to have a problem with these, I have, I'm thinking around six of these, and um, none had any problems this is uh, I think I have two that I have not used yet so they're very good I do recommend them and you are not gonna regret getting them I think they're like twelve dollars too so it's 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 very good so <clears throat> yeah that's gonna conclude for this video guys uh, please like and subscribe and if you guys have any suggestions please let me know uh, and um, yeah I'll be more than happy to help so take care happy flying see you guys